Oakland City Hall reopened to the public Monday after weekend anti-Wall Street protests once again turned violent here, with protesters storming City Hall and causing extensive damage inside, breaking windows, destroying historic sculptures, and removing an American flag from the lobby and burning it. I'm just feeling exhausted by all of this and disheartened. Uh, we all support free speech, free assembly, protesting, but you don't need to do this level of damage. It's just too much. This protester said he left the demonstration when it started turning violent. Then you have to weed out the, the, the bad seeds, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not here for the purpose of, you know, occupying, you know. Among the hundreds arrested during the protests, several reporters were also taken into custody, including this independent journalist from Sacramento, who said she was roughed up by officers. This is the building where the order was sent to arrest the people who were protesting. And I'm assuming the police were the ones that chose to lock down on my hands so hard and not recognize that I was pressed. Oakland's mayor says confronting police was the protesters' primary goal. They tell the rest of the country that they're just victims of police brutality. But if you watch the footage yesterday, they were constantly provoking the police. It's almost like this is how they're trying to make their movement. The mayor says she's seeking stay-away orders against protesters who've been arrested multiple times. Protesters vowed they'd take to the streets again, possibly as early as this weekend. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Oakland, California.